Hey guys, just wanted to real quick go over that script again, just step by step. Um, so everything here is the same as it was before. So let's just, we'll just go over the search cursor because that's the confusing part. Um, so we create this search cursor and again, I like to think of a search cursor as it's, it's a, a function that Arc gives you that allows you to look through fields in feature classes or shape files. And it's kind of treated just as a variable like a list and you can loop through that list and it, it's a, like a special list. It's a list composed of these two field, composed of data in these two fields, and we specify those two fields here, and then we loop through those fields. Now it's going to go through and, and loop through everything. So first it'll do this one, then this one, and then move on to the next one. Uh, so we have it printing x1, which is just the name of the country, and now we have we're making a feature layer from the countries, calling a country's layer where the FID is equal to where the FID is equal to whatever the current value of the FID looping through is. So the first time it's going to select the country that has the FID of 0, then the second time the country that has the FID of 1. And then it just makes a layer out of that one individual feature. Um, now what confused me, I think I already explained it earlier, but we'll just go over it again, is why you couldn't just say get rid of all this and just say make feature layer from x0 like this why couldn't we just make it like this x0 and the reason you can't do that is because this uh, what did I do? Oh, x oops x0 is literally just a string it's the FID value so it's a one two three it's it doesn't have any spatial properties to it so we need to make a feature layer using this special feature layer function and we need to give it what it needs. So it needs a country's file, a country's variable, a name, and some specific where clause. Um, so again, that confused me at first. I just wanted to hammer that in. Um, so after we have the individual layer, which is just one single country, we're just doing a simple select by location from the points layer that are within that country's layer we just made. So the points layer is all of the points. So it's selecting points from all the points, only select ones that are within this current country. And then after we did that, we realized that we had to replace or format some of the strings because how they were represented in that attribute table, um, you can't make file names with parentheses. So we just replaced them with these underscores. That's not the most ideal way, because what if there were other characters that weren't allowed that we just didn't come across? Um, there are better ways to do this. I just didn't want to get into it in this tutorial. Um, so once we had that new output name, we just moved on and actually converted it to a feature class, or converted this to a feature class using this as an output name. So this point slayer, after we make a selection, it's just that selection. So we want to convert that current selection. This out path is where you want it to be stored. And we already specified that right here in this folder called outputs. And then what do you want to name it? So we called it cities in, and again, these are, this is that string formatting thing where you can provide, you can put curly braces right in a string. And then after the string, you type dot format and you provide it with what do you want to put in that curly brace. So in the first position, in the zero position, which is right here, we gave it this name, and then in the we separate it by an underscore. In the one position, we provided it with this piece of information, which is x zero, which is the FID. And then we just had it print successfully converted, and we used the string formatter again. And then once it looped through all of this 255 times, it got out of the loop and did the next thing, which is print finished, and that's when the program exited. I uh, just wanted to go over that again real fast. Hopefully it was helpful.